Tanya, the expectations are pretty big for this project, but listen, right now we are just talking about dirt. That's all that's out here right now. But city leaders say in another year and a half, the Rossville Flats will really tie together the Main Street corridor, bringing both living spaces and more buildings uh, with businesses here to downtown Hamilton. It's been, you know, decades, probably 100 years before there's been new um, residential built on Main Street. But that's changing. Dirt, okay. Monday, city leaders broke ground on the Rossville Flats, a mixed-use development bringing 76 apartments to Main Street, meeting a growing demand for housing in Hamilton. Every new complex that comes on board or, you know, rehab building or whatever is rented instantly. This will be a part of the growth. Keith and Jamie Gregory are one of two retailers already signed to the space. They're company Frost Factory serves frozen alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. With Spooky Nook coming and all the other things opening and then when Agave announced it was kind of like it's a no brain. The company says the recent growth makes the area attractive. And with the communities adding Dora, it just allows people to walk around and enjoy their enjoy themselves having a drink and not having to worry about, you know, having to stay indoors when it's nice outside. Hamilton is moving forward so quickly. Dan Bates, president of Hamilton's Chamber of Commerce, says the flats will increase the walkability of the downtown district, bringing more local foot traffic to area businesses. About 60% of the revenue um, is from people outside of Hamilton. And certainly we're thrilled with that. But you know, having uh, residents here who can walk down the street to patronize those businesses really just increases their ability to be successful. And Bay says that he is hopeful that if this project is successful, it'll bring even more residential space in and around downtown Hamilton. Reporting live in Hamilton, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.